Welcome back guys, yes, today I'm going on a Yamaha Wave Runner uh, show, it's an 1800 engine, supercharged, it's pretty quick, and uh, yeah, today I'm riding solo, uh, the weather here now, it's Saturday, it's about 11.30, and the weather is pretty cold, I think the water is like 73, so I had to put on my wetsuit today, because uh, I'm not really fond of cold water, plus, when you're going fast and you get splashed by the, by the water, it feels like they're throwing ice at you. So yeah, right now I'm going off a Hallover ramp, and uh, it's pretty quiet here. So, but before I hit, um, I'm heading down, down south by an island called La Islita, that they're having a, some kind of art island party. So I'm gonna go check it out. But before I head down, I'm gonna go ahead and stop by a Hallover sandbar, and see what's going on. I know it's early, but still, see who's there, and then uh, keep going my way down. So let's go, guys. Go along for the ride. ride from the ramp uh, to the sandbars maybe about 10 minutes or less uh, so I'm already here at a Hallover checking out uh, the scenery I mean that is unbelievable it's, it's pretty cold and there's a lot of people still here uh, so uh, I'm gonna ride around check out uh, you know see I see any of my friends here and Hallover Hallover to me is one of the best sandbars in Miami I mean a lot of people like Nixon but the problem with Nixon is the sand, it's, it's kind of like muddy and it has shows in it. So, but I mean, but the environment is good. I mean, it's adult driven. It's a lot of uh, adult activities, if you, know, if you know what I mean. It's pretty fun. It's pretty crazy. But when it comes around the water quality and sand and atmosphere, it, you can't beat all over sandbar. To me, it's the best. Plus, I mean, you're here, you hang out. I mean, there's a lot of people. Everybody's here friendly. Also, I mean, if you get hungry, you don't bring any food. There's, there's about two or three food trucks, I mean, food boats that uh, they sell you food. I mean, it's pretty good. I think the hamburgers are like $6. So, I mean, it's, it's not that bad. But, I mean, you can enjoy your day here. I'm going to start heading down south, but I'm going to open up the throttle, see how fast it goes. arrived here at the island uh, this island is called Islita it's located right before uh, the Venetian Causeway and the Venetian Causeway is the little bridge right before uh, the big downtown bridge that lights up at night in purple that you guys see in the picture Oh, 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 oh. 
I'm cruising around the island here. I mean, it's pretty early. It's uh, maybe 12 o'clock right now, and it's a lot of people here. And um, usually people start coming out here like around 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So to be early, there's a lot of people here. So uh, let me show you guys around the island, and then I'm gonna go ahead and, and pull in and see what's going on inside the island. So supposedly, there's an island party here. So so we also have some DJs and some stuff going on. So. Well, like you guys seen on the video, the west side of the island, you know, normally everybody parks, it's pretty full. So I had to come around the east side of the island, that's the shallow part, because I couldn't find a spot to pull in. So uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and walk around the island, see, see what's going on, see how the party is.